Uh, this is the Kanna pictures I took in 2018 and 19. This yellow Kanna flower, this plant I was talking about that uh, I had and it bloomed two years but in the third year it did not survive. It was very pretty and it, it grew very well in the second year in the garden but um, somehow I it could not survive third year and I lost the plant. I miss this plant. The petals of the flower is... Uh, somehow i find very attractive lemon yellow or lime yellow you can say and um, so these are in the different different weeks it bloomed nearly two months so all the pictures are not from the same day different different day um, i was very happy with this plant but i lost it this is in 2018 and 2019 now these are my gladiolus from last year 2020 july august uh, are the time when they were blooming and as i mentioned they bloomed on different different date not on the same date same day so whenever uh, new suits i mean new bloom i used to see it i try i tried to capture all the variety that bloomed uh, this purple was uh, I think only one uh, only one bloomed this purple color other colors were multiple because nearly 20 plants I said right 20 bulbs so this is the last canna that I was talking about I am going to talk about some snake god uh, white glory seed. Um, I like this vegetable. Last year I ordered this online and uh, it came so late I almost forgot. So it reached to me after three months of the date I ordered, which is um, on print, I mean, which is not usual, but maybe because of COVID, I believe so see this is the packet it was in i caught it here and um, there were these, these are the seeds so um, yesterday it has been nearly i can say 20 hours i soaked in water i watched a youtube i'm new to this kind of germination but just to soften the outer skin so that it will sprout faster um, this is a process uh, last year i did that with some column not columbine uh, some lupine seeds and some other seeds and it worked very well so um, i thought of when i learned this seed also you can follow the procedure of like soaking in water overnight and then uh, put it in a towel or bounty paper i mean so that i am going to do so i soaked it almost it is nearly you can say 15 20 hours and um, i'll put inside this box but anyway so this is just plastic box um, so these are the soaked seed snake plant sorry snake god i'm sorry uh, i was doing little research about snake plant of different different varieties so that name came to my mouth so three to five Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that is broken. Still, let me put it here. Yeah, it is very exciting. That's why I did not want to mesh to show you. So let's just instead of anyway. So this is how it is, and now the outer skin is soft, so I can just put this. You can do you can cover in a towel too. I'm doing it like this. I 
that is enough so nearly four five spoon water I added and uh, let's see this is I'm filling it okay so I can um, it is visible see if you can see or this side also if you are you yeah I think I can see this is how it is looking that's sweet at least I think one or two days and uh, I am putting inside it so that it will give a water or more temperature for germination and uh, I will show you if it sprouted and then I am supposed to put it with soil and uh, in a pot and then later to the ground the oxal is uh, we are blooming today so I thought I will add the pictures this is the purple one both the green and purple were blooming so I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching